So I'm going to just make the assumption that you guys have heard the rumors about Chemayev, right? Currently, Chemayev is in Russia. He was on a plane. He was headed somewhere else. He touched down in Russia. They found him on the plane. They take him off it. They seize his passport. I mean, the, the story was something along these lines. But this isn't the first time that this has happened to Chemayev. And what I mean is there's a rumor and a story about him being stuck in some country and somebody took his passport. We've rinsed and repeated about this back. Now, it doesn't mean it's not true. But it doesn't mean that it is. This was literally going on. The one time that I met Chemayev, I brought you guys this did a little social media piece. But Chemayev was stuck in some other country. I want to say he was stuck in the Middle East. As this story was going on, this story was around, and we hadn't heard from Chemayev. He's pretty good on social media. He's pretty active. He's pretty busy. If he's heard this story, he could fix it real easy. He could turn around and say, hey, guys, it's not true. I'm, But he never did. He let the story just go. I happen to be in Las Vegas. I happen upon the PI. There's Chemayev. He's standing right there. And I believe the first story. I believe that he was stuck. I can't quite remember the country. I think it was in the Middle East. That he was stuck there. They pulled his passport. He's standing right here in Las Vegas. So I'm only sharing for you because now we're seeing it again. And the evidence that Chemaya is stuck in Russia is that somebody put that on the internet one time. But the proof that this time it's true is the fact that Chemaya has not gone out, made a video, and told the world, I'm not stuck in Russia. Instead, his manager came out and said, no, that rumor isn't true. So I'm just bringing this to you. I do not believe that he's stuck there. It also doesn't make, from a political standpoint, if you guys are following what's going on, it wouldn't make sense to hold on and seize or punish Chemayev in any kind of a fashion. So I don't personally believe it. I will admit for you, I don't have proof. I'm not standing with them. I can't post it on my social accounts. I'm just mentioning that this rumor keeps on coming up. Now, as I dug a little bit further into the rumor, Chemayev was headed to Thailand. He's headed out to Thailand. Thailand to train with Darren Till, who's in Thailand. Okay, let me stop you right there. That's a problem for me. If Darren Till is in Thailand preparing for a fight that I don't think is even going to happen, that's a problem for me. And it's a problem because while the work is hard, they suck. And they always have. I mean, if I've got to go through another day of MMA gyms, seeing a guy show up wearing the shorts, got the big pad on, and, he, and he's holding mitts as you're throwing a, a, a switch kick, which has worked a grand total of zero times. It's annoying. If I got to what? As you teep the body while you pump the, and you pull the knee up. I mean, I've got to tell you, this stuff doesn't work. I am a kickboxer. I believe in it. I do Muay Thai every day. I believe in that as well. But you had best believe that in the history of this sport, everybody that goes over to Thailand, show me a winner. Everybody that goes over there and does these training camps, show me a champion. Everybody that wants to go over there and skip the rope and run in the heat before they come in and hit the pads with absolutely no head movement, which is the reason that sport does not translate, show me somebody that had success. If Darren Till is in Thailand, I have a problem with that. And I know a ton of guys who have gone. They'll come back, they all tell the same story. And they all want to train like that. And they want to show you what they learned over there. Okay, great. Who is training you and your workout partners? Who are they? Well, I was there 10 years ago. Well, that, that's, that's great then. So your workout partners might have been completely unknown 10 years ago. Certainly they've risen. To, so tell me who they are now. I might not have known 10 years ago, but tell me now. That's even more helpful. Zip the mouth shut, throw away the key. I have, I have a huge problem with it for different reasons. I really don't want to just go pick on that. I think, I think I just wanted to point that out because I, it is a little bit of a nuisance in this space to hear somebody, I mean, they're working so hard to sip a few bucks so they get to Thailand so they can train. They all come back with the exact same stories. Oh man, I got to the gym, it was time to train. And the coach told us, go run two miles. You run two miles before we do anything. So we run two miles, we come back and now we're tired and now we start jumping rope. So the rope gets done. We think we're going to go in the bags. Coach says, run another two miles. Oh my God, I've never ridden four miles in my life. I run four miles and now it's just for time for practice to start. I go do three rounds on the mid. Coach says, go run another two miles. I mean, everybody has the same story. Do you have to go to Thailand to run? Did you need somebody in Thailand to tell you that running is a very common sport for that of combat? Are you not aware that here in America, over in Russia, 
the Cubans and the Germans and the Swedes and all around the Eastern Bloc, all around the earth, athletes run. Like, did you not know that? And if you come back from Thailand and you tell me how great this camp was and how you paid and what you ate and who you hung out with and the new idea and philosophies that you have, but the only thing that you can really tell me that you did that was different is you ran a lot. I'm in. I like filling a gas tank up. I believe in running. Of course, there's no running in the actual octagon, so it's a little bit weird that that's your big takeaway. I was thinking I was going to hear more about a strike, something that you learned over there that you could actually use in competition, but in all my life, I never do. I never do hear about it. It is a massive problem to train your body, to go out of your way to train your body to not move your head. It's a massive problem. If you have pillows on your hands, known as gloves, boxing gloves, you can get away with that. You can do what's just simply called a cover. You put your hand up like it's a shield. You push them together like they're a shield. You got these huge gloves on, and then you bury your head in it. As this guy tees off on you. Once he stops, now it's your turn to tee off on him. Once you stop, they go back and forth. They will actually train you to do that. As terrible and stupid as what I just explained, they will train you. You will go over there and you will learn these bad habits, or you can stay with your coaches and move your damn head that the guy's trying to hit. This isn't a trick question. There's a reason that over the history of time, we've never had a meaningful fighter. We've never had a fighter that you guys could name that you've watched that you paid to see whose t-shirt you wanted to order so you could look like him that came from one of those camps. But there's also never been a fighter that doesn't want to go over there and kick mitts and go run two miles before he hits the heavy bag and run two miles before he hits the speed bag. Like it's just, it's one of these things. I have a big problem with Darren Till's over there. I have concerns for Darren Till's upcoming match. I have a concern to the, I don't think the match is going to happen, for one. I have concerns about the preparation. Darren Till has two gyms that I'm aware of. The one that he grew up in, the one that he was training at the day he busted into a main event and stopped Cowboy Cerrone in a minute. And another one in Sweden with Shemai and company, where he's very welcome and very comfortable, where those are his actual guys who will show up and give their bodies, give their knowledge, give their time, because they care about him. He has two gyms to do that. Very rare. Most guys have one. People like Darren. Darren spent enough time. Darren worked hard enough. He has two. But those are, st those are his options. If you've got a fight allegedly coming up, you need to be at one of those gyms. What are you doing in Thailand? And don't think you have to answer the question. I already know the answer. You're running. Don't think that I don't know that you're, you're working some elbows and some knees in with some beautiful attacks, though in the history of watching the sport, you've never actually seen them done in live, live competition. But boy, they look good on the mitts. Boy, this gym, I mean, it's outside. I'm in the sun. I got a little, I'm getting fresh air. Man, I've, I've heard the whole thing. I've heard it all. If Jemayev is stuck in Russia because he was planning to go train in Thailand, they did him a favor. And if Darren Till is in Thailand training for a fight, he's in the wrong place.